Tim, how are you? Fantastic. Uh, you look a little off today. Well, you know, I've been dealing with that stomach virus <laughs> and everything, and just... Uh, it's oh, nothing. all right. Well, are you feeling a little better now? Well, the downstairs is a disaster, but the upstairs has been newly renovated. <laughs> Sorry, I'm really bad at metaphors. Uh, this is where the meeting's being held currently. Now, how's Tracy doing? Uh, it feels like years since I've seen her. Tracy and we, I, were not... Oh, my gosh, the thing between you and Tracy? You don't mean to say. They did. They didn't. It was a crash course from nowhere, and Tracy... She was devastated. Devastated, yes. But they were so adorable. Adorable, I know. Jesus Christ. Christ. Uh, I'm just going to go sit down. Paul, if you need anything, just let us know. We're here for everyone in the department. We're family. One tight little niche. So close. Understood. Very understood. Perfect. <laughs> oh, I'm married, Tim. Oh, I'm, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I know. We uh, talked about this. I know. I know. Don't start this right now. Not right now. Not right now. You want to do this on your schedule, as usual, always by Tim's clock. Janice is just the ticker. Why are you starting this? Ticking away. Tick, tick, tick. It's never been that way. You're embarrassing me. Embarrassing you? Okay, you're not embarrassing me, but you're acting foolish. Foolish. Only foolish around you. Now that's a turn on. You bet you're sweet out today. Ah, uh, if you'll excuse me. I have to use the little, little teacher's room. Oh, Bob, how are you? Just great. Just got back from the little teacher's room. Look, I didn't mean. You didn't know I was here. No, I didn't. Guess you couldn't see me in that uh, five foot nine sight frame, could you, Tim Watchtower? Bob, let's. I've got to go. I'll be back in a little. Yeah. All right, Tim. Hi, Bob. How was break? A little short, Janice. Oh, I know. Isn't that a punch in the bladder? Speaking of which, I need to go. If, if Lisa starts the meeting before I get back, can you tell her that Tib and I... I mean, I. I will be back. I'll tell her. Oh, thank you, sweetie. Oh, I need to see my kids more often. Well, you can tell her that I'm through with that threatening alimony bullshit. Besides, if I wanted a snot-nosed brat as a son, I could just snatch up any kid from the college funding program for cerebral palsy and commit to paying better support for longer life expectancy. There's only one way to play this game, and that's by rolling the dice first, baby. How's it going, Bob? Oh, same scenario. Wife questions a relationship. Blames me for the questioning of it. Then she likes to add fuel to the fire by bringing up the uh, relationship hostile relationship between my father and I. How about you, Polly? Well, honestly, I feel fantastic. Tracy and I broke up. That's wonderful. I mean, you talked about how your relationship with you and Tracy was just really awful. We got drunk over it the other night. That was last night. Oh. You know, the dots are starting to connect. You swore up and down you're just gonna go right over to Tracy's apartment and tell her once and for all just how miserable you were. No, that's how it went. Morning, gentlemen. Ron, you look extra bothered by the divorce this morning. And that just means the coffee kicked in. Are you going to? Word of advice, fellas. Here we go. Never, for the sake of your lives, if you want the birds chirping and the sun shining down on your face, get married! 
Because it'll just unfold an endless list written by Satan himself. Sorry, sorry I'm late. Is Lisa here yet? Lisa's, Lisa's not, not here, here yet. yet. Oh. Well, good. Glad I made it. <laughs> Only 12 minutes after we were called. Of course, if we were 29 minutes after Lisa calls you, that's still considered early. I said good morning everyone. Good morning. Did everyone have a fantastic weekend? It's Tuesday. Just want everyone to know that this meeting is a mandatory meeting. So we can't leave. I just wanted it to be in this classroom so we could play a little thing I like to call role play playing the role play. Do we get to have nappy time too? Robert, you can just cut out the sarcasm. I'll cut it out. I'll just get back to the rest of my day. You know, teaching students and not playing patty cake for a jump start. He's right, Lisa. I've got so much work to do here. Can we just reschedule this for a weekend or something? Shut up! No! I don't get you people. All right? Teaching history is not just a job or a temporary way of life. It is life. All right, we make history every day. All right, that, that middle school kid that wanted to be a history teacher was inspired by one of you. You. Okay, all right. So just know that they are molding our future. Just think about that. Okay, all right. So just humor me, all right? Show me how inspiring you're presenting yourself to be, okay? Starting with you, Robert. Oh, good. Let's reshape some overly shaped minds. Let's do it. Oh, Robert. You'll have to raise your hand if you have a question. Yes, Ms. Lisa. Robert, I want you to enter the classroom. Excuse me, Lisa, and I'm not. Miss Lisa, if you're going to be in this class, I suggest you stop talking over my lecturing. Seriously, Robert. Mr. Myers. Thank you. They call me Mr. Myers. You just cut out the bullshit, Robert. You just earned yourself a one-trip ticket to the dean's office. You know what? Sit down. Right now. Stop clapping! Anyway, so the president is going to come in and review each one of your performances when it comes to you teaching here at this university because there has been a decline in attendance and an incline in dropouts. 
mainly with history majors. I know we all remember that there was a death of Lori Kennedy. You mean the transfer from my 211 class? Yeah. Don't be surprised if she doesn't show up, Mr. Summers. That's terrible. Miss Hudson, this meeting is really pointless, and we're going to run out of time anyway. I really and haven't I gotten to my point. At a quarter tail. My point is. is on campus? <laughs> yeah. Wow. That's cool. Well, well, not really cool, but uh, interesting and unexpected. Mm -hmm. oh, that reminds me of this James Patterson novel I'm reading about the this murdered hitchhiker. But I found the police badge on the body. <laughs>